Hi, everybody. I'm Rob Wise, President and CEO of IT Inspired. I want to bring this video to you today from my home office and just to let you know a few things that I've been saying, a few trends. Um, it, I, it seems like there's been a lot of phishing attempts, a lot of email scams. Um, they're trying to take advantage of a interesting situation and circumstance. A lot of these emails are driven out of fear and anxiety of you being pressured into doing something. Um, in, the, in this case, what I'm noticing, and I've been getting a lot of client calls about, is that there are threats and phishing and email scams coming out saying um, that they've caught you doing something very adult-like uh, and that you've been using your computer for bad reasons. Um, but ultimately, they want you to have to pay them in Bitcoin and they want you to um, turn over that information and turn over that money as soon as possible. Um, they're creating this, this urgency, but you don't need to worry about that. Um, most of this is, again, based out of fear and the unknown, and they want you to react in a certain way without thinking. So just pause, and uh, a good rule of thumb is to just send it over to your IT provider and see if they can help you uh, sort this out. So a lot of these phishing scams, a lot of these uh, attempts have been basically using either prior personal or professional email accounts and have linked them with a prior password that you've used. So what I want to do is there's a tool over here, uh, actually over here, uh, and it's a website I want you to check out and use those email accounts. And what you will do is you'll put in your email account and it will register against the database and see if your account has been owned or pwned in this account. So have I been pwned.com is a great resource for this. And it's going to check basically the resources on the dark web and make sure that if you do have something that's compromised, it's going to tell you what breach, what vulnerability and where this kind of came from and how they compromised your account. Chances are you didn't just turn this over. Um, it was probably a leak or some sort of breach from a, a vendor, a company or banking institution that you use in the past. First response plan of action is change your password, change any password or variation of that that you have been using in the past that was identified in the email. Um, make it a strong password, multiple characters, numbers, letters, uh, symbols, all that good stuff. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to use a password manager. My favorite one is LastPass. I've got an app on my phone, an extension in, in my uh, Chrome browser, and I can basically, when I log into a brand new web page, it will save it for me. And I never have to remember but one single password, uh, my master password in LastPass. So find you a password manager that works for you. Now, a lot of this information is going to be covered uh, on our blog. So go to itinspired.com slash blog. You'll have some information there related to COVID-19, um, related to how we do business, and obviously your response to some of these phishing and scams and uh, attacks that we've been seeing. Lastly, you know, if you know someone that's on top of these sort of things and they're a really good person, they do some great work and they're pretty technical uh, and have great customer service skills, well, we're hiring at IT Inspired. So uh, maybe you're working remote now. Maybe you've been laid off. Well, we're looking to, for some good people, always looking for great people. Interns, service specialists, support specialists. So we hope that you can apply. And uh, thank you for your time today. I appreciate it. And um, stay safe, everybody.